Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the Closet Confidential tag. I saw my friend Kelly did this and I just thought it was a cute and fun tag to do. By the way, if you're not subscribed to her, go on over and check out her channel. I will link it down below. She's awesome. She has amazing fashion sense and like I just love her style. So the first thing was oldest item in your closet. Now with clothes, I tend to get rid of things if I haven't worn it in over a year or two. I don't throw them out, but I will give them away to friends or my mom or if I, like nobody wants it, I'll just donate it to Salvation Army or something. I like to keep my clothes like current and um, to stay up to date, other unless it's like something that's really just classic. But so I couldn't find something for clothes for this category, but I did find these Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. It comes in this little case, um, which is cute. It kind of looks like a purse. Don't mind my Band-Aid. I just I have a gel manicure, and I started picking at it, and it's just not a good time. But um, these glasses are so old, and they're just ridiculously huge, and like I just probably will never wear them again. Like, I don't know what ever prompted me to buy these in the first place. They're just ridiculous and do not fit my face at all, but I always felt like a pimp when I wore these, so I just can't really, like, get myself to throw these out or give them away. I mean, I can't even sell them. Like, the rhinestones popped out and they're really outdated, but I don't know. They're just, they remind me of good times. I had a lot of good times in these glasses. <laughs> so that was the first thing. Second thing on the list is the newest item in your closet. So that for me would be this bikini by Trina Turk. Um, it can see like they even have the tags on it. So that's the top and it has sort of, oh, that's trolling upside down. But that's the top there. And I like this, it gives a lot of support. And then here's the bottom. And I only ever buy the type that have like these little scrunched bottoms, if you know what I mean. Because I don't really have a butt and girlfriend needs a little help. <laughs> Next is the most expensive item, and that would definitely be my um, Chanel bag that my boyfriend bought me for our one year anniversary, and this thing is like ridiculous. Um, I love it, it's beautiful, I just like feel like such a diva that I own something like this. Uh, yeah, but it was a present, I would never buy something like this for myself, and um, it's the Chanel Boy, I think it's called. Um, this part is like made of Stingray, which is pretty cool. I thought it was really unique. Um, I, I couldn't believe like he picked something so cool like that out. So you can wear it like that, shortened or long ways and use it as a crossbody. And I mean, it has like a decent amount of room inside. It's more than a clutch, but I really don't tend to use this unless it's the evening time just because I just think it's like so fancy. Taking it down a few levels I have my cheapest item which and cheapest item slash item you use the most and that would definitely be these boots by Payless. Um, they are just super comfortable. I feel like they look really ugly on camera, but they're so, so, so comfortable. I love them. I've been wearing them like every single day. Best bargain would definitely have to be this Marc Jacobs bag. I just got this recently when I was in Florida. I just couldn't stay away. Like the fluorescent color was just calling my name. I thought it just reminded me of summer and I think I'll get a lot of use of it when it does become warmer out. So. This was, I got it at, was it Nordstrom Rack? And it was originally, I think, like $289, and I got it for like $100. So it's really cute inside. I don't have any Marc Jacobs bags, so it's just something new and fun to add to my collection. I'm definitely more of like a shoe and bag kind of girl rather than clothes. I don't really tend to spend that much money on clothes, mostly because I end up ruining them half the time, so I just don't want to go there. And then lastly was biggest waste of money, which, like I just said, I don't really spend that much money on clothes, so I just grabbed this. I don't know if this really counts because it's not really part of my wardrobe, but it's this Guerlain Mascara. Um, I just don't like this at all. I tend it tends to smudge on me a lot and for the price I just I thought it was very disappointing. So I really never reach for this 
which kind of stinks because it was probably like a $30 tube of mascara. For this last bit that's optional is bonus items, so three things that I'm just loving at the moment. And the first would definitely have to be these socks. I don't know where they're from. I think it might be, it might be from Costco, but they're just these really fuzzy socks. My mom got them for me, and I have a bunch of them in different colors, and I just like cannot be without them because I've been freezing lately. And they're like that micro fleece kind of material, I guess. I just, ooh, I love them. Speaking of which, my next thing is another sort of micro fleece. And this is this robe, again, that my mom bought for me. This is by Croft and & Barrow. And I think she got it from um, Kohl's. So, yeah, every time I get out of the shower, I just curl up in this. And it's like ankle length that goes all the way down to the floor on me. So I really like that. It keeps me nice and warm. And the last thing, which it's def it's like a favorite item. I haven't really worn it that much. One second. So as I was saying, I don't really wear these that much, uh, primarily because I've had tendonitis in my foot for the past three months. So I haven't been able really to wear anything but sneakers and flats. But it's finally going away, so I hope I can start wearing these more. But they're my Christian Louboutin ankle boots. And I just keep them in the box so that they're like they don't get damaged and stuff. But I just think they're the cutest. I've worn them like twice. I got them over the fall and I really need to start wearing them more often. So that's what they look like. And uh, yeah, they're leather. They've got the little red bottom, but as you can see, that doesn't last too long. Although Kelly had something on her channel, um, protect your pumps. I don't know, I think it's like a little plastic thing you put on the bottom so that this doesn't get destroyed. Because like, I literally have worn them a handful of times. But for Louboutins, they're typically like 5 inches. These are really quite small. I think they're about 3 inches. And I mean, that's comfortable for me. They do have a really pretty steep arch and not really a lot of like support here because there's no platform. And I wonder why I got tendonitis. <laughs> no, but I um, I actually got it from a, a different reason. But yeah, so I do want to start wearing these more because, you know, I invested in them and they're very classic and I need to get some more use out of them. So that is my final item to share with you. And yeah, that's it. So I definitely want to tag a couple of people here on YouTube. I want to tag Maddie, Maddie Skinner, my good girlfriend here on YouTube, and also Yvette from Beauty by Miss Outlaw. And Kelly, you already did this video, so I can't tag you, but definitely come up with some more tags. I like to do these things. And for all my subscribers, I tag you. I hate that Google Plus now doesn't like allow video responses. It's, it's just a pain. Everything with Google Plus is like... But if you do decide to do a video like this, leave a comment down below letting me know so I can go on over to your channel and check yours out. So that's all I have for tonight, guys. Um, I'm saying tonight, but I don't even know when I'm going to upload this. It's Sunday night right now. It'll probably This will probably go up like later this week. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance. Tomorrow, school and work is starting again, so I'm like oh, nervous Um, to still get my books and stuff last semester. And then uh, in the fall, student teaching. So. I'm wrapping it on up here. I'm going to be a real adult soon. <laughs> Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to stay connected with me, you can reach me on Instagram. I'm on Pinterest. Um, or just leave comments down below. Yeah, I'm pretty good about answering them. <laughs> okay, bye!